Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Chittick. I'm an infectious disease doctor at Beaumont Royal Oak. The development of safe and effective antibiotics is one of the great scientific achievements of the last 100 years. Countless patients who would have otherwise died, been debilitated, or transferred infections to other people were saved as a result of this. Unfortunately, with all of that good came some bad, and in this case that means antibiotic-resistant infections, widespread use, overuse, and misuse of antibiotics. Here are five common misconceptions about antibiotics. Antibiotics should not be used for colds or flu or sore throat. The vast majority of these infections are viruses. Antibiotics don't help in viral infections. They're not gonna make you feel any better any faster, and they're not gonna prevent you from developing any secondary bacterial infections. All you're getting from antibiotics in the setting of a viral infection is all the downsides, all the side effects. So you really shouldn't be taking them for these. You shouldn't stop taking antibiotics just when you feel better. What we worry about is if you don't finish an antibiotic course that the infection that you have is going to recur, and this time potentially be more resistant to antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance doesn't mean that your body's become resistant to an antibiotic, it means that a bacteria has become resistant. We all have billions of bacteria in our gut and on our skin. When we're exposed to antibiotics, there's an increased chance that they can become resistant. What that means for you is if you're prescribed an antibiotic that that bacteria is resistant to, it won't work for that infection. Resistance is actually a problem for all of us. Now, when resistant bacteria begin, they usually start in people who've been in the hospital a lot or been exposed to antibiotics frequently. Unfortunately, once you open Pandora's box, it's a little bit challenging to put it back in. So bacteria can disseminate rapidly and be transmitted from one person to another, and even get into things like water or food supplies, um, becoming a problem for all of us. Saving antibiotics to take in the future is not a great idea. Each antibiotic is unique and does not treat all infections, so an antibiotic you take for one infection may be ineffective or just plain wrong for another. Antibiotic overuse and misuse is a big problem. Antibiotics are hugely important for what we do in modern medicine, and we want to be able to preserve those choices for future generations.